Now, over the weekend, the Family Pictures Syracuse event highlighted marginalized and forgotten members of Syracuse's history. Tonight, our Maura Vaughn has a behind the scenes look on what went into planning this event. Maura? Thanks, John. Yesterday, reporter Tyler O'Donnell gave Live at Six an inside look of the Syracuse community members who donated their family images to create a more inclusive photo archive of the city's history. But without the work and efforts from SU faculty members and contributors, such as co-founder Thomas Allen and the Turning the Lens collective group of SU faculty and students, this event could not have occurred. If a picture is worth 1,000 words, then the dozens of stories and images told by Syracuse community members would be a novel. Thomas Allen, co-founder of Family Pictures Institute for Inclusive Storytelling, brought his initiative to Syracuse with the goal of sharing SU history through pictures, and he couldn't have done it without the help of the university's volunteers and faculty. You know, and part of that coexisting is also co-creating. And so to work with young people, you know, new generations, to work with my colleagues who are faculty members with whom I've been in dialogue. We've been talking about this for 10 years. You know, so finally to have it be brought here, I mean, it's pretty phenomenal, right? Like people have so many backgrounds, people come from so many different places, and you never know someone's story. Each photo holds a different sight, something that you'll never know. Um, and I was like, I want to be a part of this. This sounds so fun. And it's great that I'm able to interview people and get that perspective. A group of university students and faculty who call themselves Turning a Lens Collective works to appreciate that images often go unseen and unheard and are giving these members of the community a space to share their local history and impact on the city. The, one of the other aspects of, of, of organizing this uh, has been to engage Syracuse University students in a community project. So it's also an opportunity for film and media arts students to, to connect with Newhouse students, to connect with students from my own department in English. I'm a policy major, I focus on local government, um, specifically Syracuse, um, and because this project is trying to center um, gaps and filling in gaps within all Syracuse history and archival um, sites in the city, um, I thought it was really important to be a part of it. I think it's important as just a student to be able to work alongside different initiatives through SU um, because then I'm a part of that history where I'm trying to get students to come off the hill um, and have access to Syracuse history to learn about. Now, if you're is interested in viewing these family images, be sure to check out the archive of the Syracuse images in Bird Library on November 15th, where the SU Black Archived Images will be on display. This is Maura Vaughn reporting for Citrus TV News. Jake and John, back to you.